What's going on, everybody? Let me make sure I got my camera cleaned off. Now or later, burn pit registry. If you've been exposed to toxic chemicals in the military, any branch, very specific locations, but you guys need to get on board. On March 5th, it's opened up. If you've, it's an automatic approval. If you've served in one of the areas where toxic chemicals were used, if you were exposed or in an area that was exposed to toxic chemicals, by the way, I got a list of bases. All this stuff's gonna be linked in the description of the video. I have a list of all the bases that also are chemical dumps, just for a lack of a better word. Every base I serve that is considered a toxic chemical dump. But you know what? Every base I served at was also a flight line type of business. So you had, you know, the fuel, the jet fuels, you had the fuels for the trucks, you know, and it, it was 24 hours a day operations at times. So it makes sense that you have groundwater problems. It was in, it was in the groundwater. It was in everything they did in the base. And so I'm going to show, I'm going to turn you on to all of this. The cool thing about this is that now it's approved. March 5th. Let me, let me show you this on the screen. Bear with me. It's a little bit early. Don't think I'll get a lot of people on the actual stream, but I did want to show you this. On March 5th, here you go. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, a bing, a bing. Let me make sure you guys can see this. I'm going to put it up full screen. One of the largest ever expansions of veteran healthcare, all veterans exposed to toxins and other hazards during military service at home or abroad will be eligible for health care beginning March 5th. And this, again, this will be linked in the description of the video. You need to get signed up. I'm telling you, you need to get signed up with, uh, you know, my stepdad, who's now passed. He died of ALS, which was tied to Agent Orange. They denied, denied, denied that it was, that it was uh, tied together. And then they said, oh, you know what? It actually is, it's actually, it's actually tied to Agent Orange. And ALS is a directed link to that. And, a and Agent Orange is a direct link to ALS. So, you know, with the thyroid stuff I've got going on, the heart condition, I haven't had the poke. I haven't gotten the poke. I think if I would have gotten the poke, I think it'd already be passed. I think I'd already be gone. Um, but you need to get signed up. If you've served in any of these places, and as you read down this, expansion of coverage for Gulf War veterans, Iraqi War veterans, Afghanistan War veterans, veterans who deployed in support of operations of global war on terror, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Freedom Sentinel, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation New Dawn, Irreverent Resolve, Resolute Support Mission, and then they give you more, okay? Let me show you one more. Let me show you one more thing and talk about the, the bases. This is going to blow your mind. Over 455 bases are on the toxic chemical list. And this is just the U.S. This is just the U.S. Let me make sure you guys can see this. I'm going to put this up on full screen. And I'll have this linked in the description of the video. Look at that list. Obviously, a lot of the bases are on the coastlines. The coast is packed with places that are toxic exposure problems. You need to get signed up. April, uh, March 5th. March 5th, you can, you can go in. Again, I'll have all these linked, all these uh, put in the description of the video. Go get signed up because even like right now, and, and Hurricane sitting over here having coffee, even like right now, all the, the stuff I went through and uh, all the different testing, in Chicago and then the testing I'm still doing here now and the thyroid and all that, it's overwhelming. It gets to be overwhelming because one thing leads to something else, leads to something else, leads to something else. I didn't even know until about eight months ago that every base I served at is now considered a toxic chemical dump. And I say that there's a better term for it. You can, you can read it in the article. There is a better term. It's a term I'm gonna use because it's true. And you don't think about that when you're 21, 25, 28, and you're just, you know, you're young, you're bulletproof. You don't think about that. Then all of a sudden you start having health problems and there is nothing cheap about healthcare. You guys know that. I'm not telling you something you don't know. So I would just tell you, get out there and get seen. Let me put this up 
this last one. Give me one second. Again, all these links will be in the description of the video. The Gulf War Syndrome. When I first got back from the Gulf, after I resigned my commission, let me put this up on full screen. What are the symptoms of the Gulf War Syndrome? Let me put this up and expand it a little bit for you. Can they see that pretty clearly, Ben? Yes. What are the symptoms? Yep. Fatigue, muscular, muscular skeletal pain, cognitive problems, skin rashes, diarrhea. It may also resemble other conditions. Um, this is also now, it, it's crazy how this works once it starts hitting the news, because all of this came out in the news uh, online the two years after I got back from the Gulf, the easy one, the one that was a short situation. We were there for Desert Shield, and I came back for a month and went back over, and then we launched Desert Storm. But when I got back, they, they were really talking about the depleted uranium weapons, because if you look at the symptoms of exposure to depleted uranium weapons and the Gulf War syndrome, which people were complaining about, they were coming back and they had all those issues, all of them. And the government, like it was all over, like this is, this is all tied because they were using depleted uranium weapons in those conflicts. Well, that's all been pushed off the front page of Google. Go figure. No different than them saying for years and decades, no, Agent Orange is not tied to anything. No, Agent Orange wasn't a problem. No, it's not causing cancers. It's not causing ALS. No, no, no. And then, you know, by that point, 70% of the people had passed. And they said, oh, well, you know what there actually is. There actually is a connection. So this, what they're doing is letting everybody that served in these different uh, theaters of operations sign up because now you're presumed to have a problem. You're presumed to have been exposed. You want to get in that system, especially now that they're doing all this health care for the illegals. You want to get in the VA system, even if you've been bulletproof up until now, you want to get in the VA system and get get on the registry and, and get your free health care if you need it. Again, your your location of service from the way I read this thing is, is an automatic approval for health care. If you have issues related to the things that were were uh, were caused by being over there, I'm just telling you, this has been a this has been a, an amazing journey through the VA system. Really, really good people and some not so, you know, just average people. But you don't think about any of this stuff when you're young and you're bulletproof. And then all of a sudden, one thing leads to something else, leads to something else, leads to something else, and it's just a daisy chain effect. So that's the stream for today. Please go get signed up on March 5th. Get, you know, I think you can do it online too. If you're in a truck and you can't get back, you're not off for another month, month and a half, get signed up. Get ahead of the curve because all these people coming in getting free health care, you need to get yours now. Get signed up for it. If you have a vet that's in the family that served overseas, served in any of these, issues, these places, even if you didn't go overseas, you can still qualify for this. And it's part of those articles I'll have in the description of the video. So get signed up because you don't think about the health care and the, the cost of it until you need it. And the VA has been a godsend for me in all of this because I did qualify for a lot of the help that they had for all the, the conditions I have now because I had the bradycardia arrhythmia for, for since I was 26 and diagnosed and they never told me how serious it was. You know, now all of a sudden, no, oh, you, you, you should have had that fixed. You should have had heart surgery. You should have, you should have, you should have. No one told me. I was just proud I had a 34 resting heart rate. That's not a good thing. That's your tip for the day. Please, if you have a veteran in the family, share this with them. Let them get ahead of the curve. March 5th is the day that they can get signed up. You can do it online. You can do it face-to-face. -face. Do it online because going face-to-face -face is it's just a, it's a, it's a, can be a goat rope, a goat rope as it were. I'm going to get back to our Sunday. You guys be good. God bless. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.